hi welcome so here we are going to understand uh, how to assign the actual work on a task and also we will we are going to understand how to use the timeline uh, view to change from uh, days to week so in the Microsoft project so let us try to uh, try to use a small example to understand uh, how to assign the actual work okay so let us go to the Microsoft project so I'm going to create a simple task called paint the wall and I'm going to set the duration as five days that is I want to complete the task in five days I want to set the task as auto schedule and I'm going to set the start is a uh, start date as next Monday and uh, let me set the duration to 10 days okay so it starts by the Monday 21st and uh, it ends till the second week that is uh, here the December 2nd okay so 10 days of work so now what we are going to do is I'm going to assign a resource so let us create a resource candidate let's say a candidate who is available for 100 percentage and uh, he works for 8 hours per day so I'm going to assign this candidate and this task so for that just go to the task form view and note that by default the duration the task is a fixed unit and the resource name is uh, added so now when I just highlight the task you can see that 80 hours of work in 10 days is available for this particular task so you can view that detail by inserting the work column so now you can see that uh, the work is assigned to this particular task and we have 80 hours of work by this candidate okay now we will we are trying to understand what is meant by actual work so actual work is the completed work okay so you can insert another column the percentage complete work complete so here there is no work has been completed so far for this uh, particular task and uh, now we will understand how to convert this the days to the week in the timeline so here if you see by default it shows uh, the days it starts by Monday till next Friday so I want to change this to entire uh, week as one column and second week as another column so I want to change the view so I am going to change the week to month and the days to week so go to the time scale right click time scale in the under the middle tier it holds the the week so I'm changing the week to months so it is changed so I'm going to change the days to week once again go I'm going to there and going to the bottom tire I'm going to convert the days to weeks so now if you see the two weeks is showing in the shadow format so it's very simple to understand simple to view so now we have this actual work so actual work see here you can assign the actual work for the candidate if there is a multiple uh, resources assigned to this particular task each resource have the actual work which you can update let's say this particular task is already completed it's it's done by uh, uh, few people last week 
and just only few hours of work is left okay so let's say uh, around 20 hours of work is completed it's already completed so what is the remaining work that is expected there is 60 hours of work is expected by these candidates and percentage of work will be calculated that is 25 percentage of the work is already completed so if you just highlight it so you will see that uh, the when I when I say that the actual work uh, completed work has 20 hours in the task itself irrespective of how many users are assigned to this task it calculates uh, the well uh, well enough in the uh, the percentage work complete and here you can see that the duration and the start date nothing in get, gets impacted and if you go to the task usage view you will see that the 20 hours of work it, it, the system assumes that it is done by the same candidates so this is the only issue it, it thinks that the candidates completed the 20 hours of work on Monday, Tuesday and, and half of Wednesday. So it, com it, it, think it calculates 20 hours. So there is no uh, impact on the duration if you look at. So let us try to view this task uh, usage view also in the same format. So middle tire make it as months and the bottom tire make it as uh, weeks so here you can see that there is no difference you know it doesn't show any exact difference and uh, if i try to view the actual work as well since i have assigned the 20 hours for this task you can see the 20 hours is assigned and it says that the remaining 20 hours is also completed in the same week because we have the remaining 20 hours so it believes that there, there, sh there should not be any changes in the duration okay so this is a one way of uh, actual work you know uh, when you when you give the when you enter the the work actual work completed in the then the gantt chart in the, this view it assumes that remaining work is also available for the same week okay it it, it doesn't think that okay 20 hours of work is given for this week so the remaining 20 hours has to move out to the next week so it's a it's it's not possible to identify which week you are talking about when you give the actual work completion at the task itself so if you want to give the actual work completed for a specific week then the the behavior changes so let us understand how it works so for that I'm going to just you know remove that actual hours to zero so I'm not going to add this 20 hours here but I'm going to assign I'm going to say that actual works uh, hours completed 20 hours of work completed in the task usage. So let us go there and you'll see that actual work is already deleted so it's not reflecting here. So here I'm saying that this particular task for this particular week it just completed only 20 hours and then we will see how the work the the work completion is showing for this candidate how it is going to change so let us see just I'm hitting the tab okay now you can see what is the exact difference it says that since I'm saying that specifically that this week only 20 hours of work is completed application is intelligent enough to say that this candidate for this week has only worked for 20 hours so that means remaining 20 hours has to be completed so the next week 
we have 40 hours and for the remaining 20 hours it extends the the week to the third week so that by if you can see that the start date has changed to 12 7 and if you go to the the the, the gun chart view now you can see that it was also still showing us 20 hours still showing us percentage complete is 25 percentage but if you see the duration has extended to 12.5 so it looks like you know you have entered the same data but when you specifically say that for this week I have the work is only 20 hours then the application intelligent enough to calculate what should be the finished date so I hope you understand what is the exact usage of this particular section task usage and you will understand how the actual work on a given task for a particular day or particular week if it is assigned how the system behaviors uh, behaves and uh, how the, uh, the actual work the remaining work is actually calculated for the assigned candidate so I hope uh, this helps you to understand uh, the difference between entering the, the completed work actual work in uh, in this particular section and if you assign if you give the same the data in the task usage section for that particular week or day so it's a it's completely different calculates calculation is different so this is actually uh, it's recommended it's best practice to use this task usage because uh, you can specific specific to say that uh, how, which work is completed on which week uh, on which day so application uh, you know in a in a better way to calculate the remaining days so hof hopefully you know this is a helpful video thank you for watching